So this is the diagnostic part. Uh, and I'm going to try to, you know, keep it very histologically based. So I want to talk about what realistic and unrealistic goals for characterization are, the rationale that we use, the algorithm that we use, and the histopathologic basis is going to be a large part of this because you have to know that it makes sense to do this, what kind of results we can achieve and how we might change the management that way. It's unrealistic to think that we'll ever distinguish all benign from all malignant breast nodules. We'll never be able to do that. We'll probably be able to give a woman a pill that prevents cancer before we can do that. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. We just have to keep our goals more realistic. So what are realistic goals? Well, to appropriately characterize more than 98% of malignant breast masses as suspicious or malignant, BIREDS 4 or 5, and then to be able to identify some subpopulation of the benign nodules that are benign with greater than 98% certainty. And we can do that. We don't, probably don't do as well at that as we should. Uh, but those are realistic, achievable goals. We have to remember that we don't see histology, we see subgross morphology, and certainly that's a limitation, but it's only a relative limitation. It's not absolute. Because more than 98% of cancers have features that allow us to say they're suspicious, and there is a certain subpopulation of benign nodules that's so classically benign that we can be more than 98% sure they're benign. You know, breast cancer isn't one thing, it's heterogeneous. Laszlo likes to say that, and I agree with it. But if we think about the three ways that breast cancers and benign lesions vary from each other, it's in the percentage of the lesion that's made up of cells, the extracellular matrix, and the host reaction to the lesion. And each mass is made up of those three components in various percentages. But those things indirectly affect the water content. So I think it's really the variability of water content as much as anything that changes.